So today, I will talk about how we constantly combine the human data and the machine learning to address three areas issues. First is understand our painters. Second, understand the pains. And the last one is really make the connection between painters to our pains. So the first area we're going to talk about is understand the painters. They are our users. We understand them at the individual level and also at the group level. For example, we learned that painters at United Kingdoms love avocado as much as the painters in the United States, but not so much of a crock pot. Painters at France love to talk about home decoration ideas, while the painters at Germany, they talk about sustainable living all the time. And we also noticed from the micro trend level, souping is the new juicing because the search of the souping shot up 300%. We also realized that mixed metal may be a new trend in home decoration because again, many, many traffic goes to the board about mixed metal. As you can tell, those are invaluable insights our partner can use because they can predict where the user is going. Next, about pains. As a visual discovery engine, it is critical for us to understand what's in the image. But a pin is not just an image. It is a visual bookmark to a creative idea. Understand what's in it, understand what's the style behind it, is a very challenging problem for us. Take a look at this living room scene. How would you describe the style? It's simple. It's cozy, maybe a little bit contemporary. How many times you work in your furniture store and the salesperson will ask you, what's your style? What are you looking for? I don't know about you, but I always have a hard time to describe my style, a lack of a vocabulary to precisely describe that. But I knew it when I see it. That's why in Pinterest, we use computer vision technology to break down the image and understand the object within the image and also recommend similar things for you to consider. In fact, we go one step further. For every object we detect, we connect the data and process data from retailer partners so that we know the price and inventory of those objects. When our pin is ready to make a purchase, we are here to help. Now, before we launch things like that, everyone work on machine learning know how important the data is. So on top of intensive interaction data we have from the users, we also have a group of specialists working with our engineer to clean up, evaluate, and label the data. So our computer vision engineer have the best data to work with. In fact, every night we launch a new computer vision model. And this partnership between human data and the machine learning pays off. Currently, we are serving more than 600 million visual searches every month, and this number is growing. Last but not the least, connecting pinners with pins. It is easy to think about once you understand the pinners and then the pins, it should be simple to connect them both, right? Not necessarily. Because let me show you all the pins we have to serve. Again, with 100 billion pins in the database, it is impossible to rank them all for every user real time. That's why we have internally a graph-based recommendation engine that will filter the candidate for us to rank for every user. Pinability is an internal term represent a group of machine learning models to predict the engagement level of a pinner towards a pin or relevance of a pin for a user. 